coffee to have fun, but like. This is the topic bottle. Deciding which one I want, or or this one. Hmm. Ah, look at it. Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. から来ました。えっと、ジュディサイドの時、日本に来た。あ、帰ってきた時は日本語自分で勉強しました。だから<笑> 
りよくないです。<笑>すごいですね。うん、宮島で一番大きいお山です。ああ、宮、う、地、ん、は出身ですか？私はね、海岸向こうの広島です。ああ、広島から毎日フェリーで。フェリー、フェリー、大変です。<笑>何回か立て直して、今ね、これ九代目。すごいいっぱいすごいビログ撮りますじゃあお前にもしに行きますかあはいうんうんはいいっぱい撮ってくださいねじゃあこの場所は素晴らしいこの場所は素晴らしいこの場所は素晴らしい I'm here now because everything is just studying. <sighs> so nice. <sighs> I keep crying on this Japan trip. Like, I don't know why, but I just keep crying. It's just so beautiful and it just makes me feel so. So grateful to be alive. We just feel overwhelmed with gratitude and how I'm able to come on this trip alone, pay for everything myself, do what I want. It's like my dream. Like I'm living my dream right now. Ah, I don't know how many times I've cried in Japan. This is ridiculous. I come here to have fun, but like I keep, I keep ruining my makeup. <laughs> Let me show you the view. Oh, I'm going to get it. 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 I'm going to get it.
endless places absolutely stunning, breathtaking. It looks just like a painting. This is the waterway. So I'm currently walking along the aqueduct. There's really no one here at all. And all I can hear are the insects and the sound of the water. And it's kind of dark. A little creepy. Okay, not creepy. But okay, la. I, I still feel very zen. But uh, there's a cemetery right at the bottom and I had no idea whether the road at the back even leads to anywhere so I made a U-turn <laughs> because I honestly didn't know where I was going I think I'm so glad that I decided to come to this temple even though they say that this temple was once plagued by a poltergeist, guys the doors would swing open and everything it's like so zen and so majestic Oh my god, I'm at Catland. It's already feeding the cats and it's full of cats everywhere! Oh my god, why so cute? Come on, we send you. Make a jump. Koi! the lake and the sky and the moon recommend you guys to go to Sento because your skin look at my skin I have no makeup on but it's basically a public bath it's like an onsen but if I'm not wrong it's cause they use normal water and onsen uses spring water but that is if I'm not wrong cause I read the thing in Japanese so I'm not sure whether it's accurate or not <laughs> but if you trust my Japanese reading I was kind of making a fool of myself because I didn't really know how to use the center. And so there were these ladies who guided me and talked to me. We just chatted and it was just really 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 nice. I, I didn't think my night in Kyoto could get any better but I'm just honestly super happy. Oh, I reached my hotel. So I just got back to my hotel and the stupidest thing just happened to me. You know how I was so excited telling everybody that tonight is my last night in Kyoto and how I was so excited saying that this has been the best night ever and that I really really enjoyed myself. Like right before I was walking to the hotel, I was saying that I was so happy that my last night in Kyoto went like this, right? So I walked into the hotel and the doors were locked. They said you had to use your key card to get into the hotel. And so I used my key card and it didn't work. And I thought, oh yeah, it might just be a faulty thing. And I didn't think much about it. So I just pressed the intercom. There was a lady who opened the door for me. And so I happily just went in and I went to the lift. And usually you tap the key, it will just light up the floor that you're staying at. Press and then it goes up. And I was there for a good 5 minutes. Tapping my key and pressing, tapping my key and pressing and thinking like, what's wrong with this? Like, is there something wrong with it? 
it. So I go back to the counter for the second time and I ask, I tell the lady, hey, uh, the lift isn't working. I don't know why, but the key card isn't working for me. She asked me which floor I'm staying at and I'm like, oh, it's third floor. And she's like, oh, which room? And I was like, 311. And she's like, oh, that room. And then she starts telling me in like Japanese that, oh, Kido, you were supposed to check out yesterday. You were supposed to check out yesterday. <laughs> I'm like totally speechless. I was supposed to check out yesterday. What nonsense is this? This is the first time I'm hearing of it. What do you mean I was supposed to check out yesterday? I was supposed to check out tomorrow. Like, I I, I told her, I was like, hey, isn't it tomorrow? It's ashita, ashita. Kido, jadai, ashita de. Check my Google calendar because I've added the dates and the dates of which hotel that I'm staying at and how long I'm staying at each place. And I realized I was supposed to check out yesterday. And 11 and she was telling me that because I did not check out at 11 they did not know what to do so they just left the room and it is and she thought that I got maybe kidnapped or something happened to me and that's why I didn't return and you know what yesterday was the first day in so many days that I actually left before 11 I left at 10 30 thinking that hey like I finally did good today like I finally left earlier today and it was the only day of all my days in Kyoto that I actually left before 11 a.m. and it's the day that I need to check out. So I left, happily went about my day, happily went to all those different places telling people that hey, this is my last day in Kyoto. Turns out that I was supposed to go to Osaka. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I am so totally speechless. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. So I just paid an extra hundred dollars to stay here for one more night. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to my hotel in Osaka. Cause I was supposed to stay there for two nights and now I'm just gonna stay there for one night. And I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Oh my god! But this totally means that my schedule is kind of rude. I'm just speechless, eh, honestly. But anyways, whatever, I don't regret it. I had an amazing night in Kyoto.